Welcome back viewers, this is SKS with our continuation of Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. This is probably going to be the concluding episode, so hopefully we'll find out what's going on, will the Rangers foil Fat Cat's plans, and what will happen. I'm so excited, who knows. It took us this long, we've skipped half the levels. Let's see what's available. Alright, Zone J. If you ever remember watching the video game, it was like the Fat Cat Kitty Cat Food Company or something. But anyway, coming through here, we got some bees. I was doing some more research into the game and found out that, as you could tell, Dale was actually, uh, as I said before, he was emulated after Magnum P.I. And that's why he's got the Hawaiian shirt. And Chip was after Indiana Jones, hence the fedora and everything else. Come to find out, I researched a little bit more and found out that Gadget, which is the Brainiac one, was emulated after the movie with Val Kilmer that's called, uh, what is it, Real Genius. And there's a character on there named Jordan. Who knows? Monterey Jack is supposed to be a, and which I think is a very poorly attempt at a Crocodile Dundee character. Hence his Australian accent. I don't really remember Crocodile Dundee liking cheese that much, but... Whatever floats their boat. Alright, we're about halfway through the levels. I try to cut myself in half. Oh, and another thing was Zipper the Fly is supposed to be like Rin Tin Tin. Somehow he's like a dog. I don't know. I couldn't figure that one out. And I died, and back to the start we go. It's not really the plan I envisioned for this level, but... We'll go with it. Good to know everything respawns. There's a cheat on this game where when you die, if you hold the A and B button down, you don't lose your life. I've not used that. There's really no need. There's so many extra men as I kill myself repeatedly whenever I say something's easier. There's no reason for it. As you can tell, I've still got nine men left. It's just easy to pick up extra lives. Oh. Alright, moving up on cat food boxes. I think I'm really going to debate playing Chippendale's Rescue Rangers 2 to go ahead and finish up the series. This seems to be a good series to play, and I'm going to stick with it. I think it would uh, be disrespectful not to finish the series all the way through and only do half of it. And I died again. Might have to go through some minor editing to get through this part. For some reason I've decided to die a lot on this run through. But now back to the game. If anybody watched the cartoon series, they know how energetic and exciting it was, especially when you're, let's see, 90 at that age. I was 9 years old, so, you know, you had to love Chippendale at the time, especially Ghostbusters and Turtles and anything of that nature. I thought about doing a Ninja Turtles playthrough, but it seems like everybody has jumped on that one. I'm not really seeing a lot of Chippendale playthroughs, except people playing the game drunk, which, I've done a lot of things drunk, but I don't know about playing video games through like that, though so that could be interesting, Drunk Wheel of Fortune or something of that nature, alright, let's try to get through this part over here, I was really expecting him to uh, go through that wall. Alright. It'd be nice to find some health around here. Grab one one up before we go in here, and we're probably at Fat Cat. And there he is. As you can tell, he looks a little bit different than the other bosses. Pretty easy. Just jump over his cigar ashes, throw the ball, and miss him and then die, which was excellent. Let's try this one more time. Without the death scene. 
And I think he takes the same number of hits as every other enemy. There we go. Here's your climactic ending of Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. There's the group with Chip with the fedora, Dale in the front, it's not even a Hawaiian shirt. The big guy is Monty, Zipper's the green fly, and then there's Gadget on the right. The game really has an anticlimactic ending. It just, right here, it already portrays they're going to make another game, and it doesn't even roll credits. It just plays the awesome music, which you got to see at the first of the video, hopefully if I put it up. But we come to this segue where she asks, right gang? And then everybody gets all together and yells, the Rescue Rangers. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this Let's Play. Uh, it was really exciting to get my first one out of the water, and hopefully we'll continue on. Like I said, I'll probably hit Chippendale's Rescue Rangers 2 next. And I hope you've learned a little bit about them, and I'll try to find some more info. And we'll let you listen to this awesome music, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody.